Hello, my beautiful co-creators. Lilu here. Today I'm with uh, Auntie Mahea Lani on Big Island in beautiful Hawaii. And it's such a delight to be spending this moment with you. Aww. Thank you. Mahalo. Mahalo nui loa. Thank you so much for having us here. Aww. Many people know it as the Aloha Spirit. The Aloha Spirit. And the Aloha Spirit was so engineered, I call it engineered by our kupunas, our ancestors. And our Hawaiian language has very few words to begin with. Um, the expression of spirit is really in the words to begin with. So the kupunas, the ancestors, understood this a lot. They knew that power in the words. Power in the words is the energies that create one's reality, Mm -hmm. you know. So because of that, they engineered our language to have very few words because they figured out you don't need a whole lot of words except words like aloha. Mm -hmm. Aloha means love. Mm. Yeah. So besides meaning, hi, how are you? Have a great day. It does mean love. So when people first come to our islands, that's the first word they hear. And even though they don't understand the depth of it or that spirit and spirituality of it, matters not. Just the fact that they're hearing it and it's part of their vibration, even for a few minutes or even for as long as their vacation. Mm. Yeah, even that. So it is about the aloha spirit and it's alive and well by the way today it's alive and well you'll hear it even on um say our news channels for instance they're always <clears throat> excuse me they're always speaking about the aloha spirit you know and how we're able to express that spirit of love every moment my grandfather used to say Ah, manavaiki e manavaiki. And that means to express love moment by moment. And love is really what spirituality is really all about, you know? Mm, And that's what you learned from your ancestor. And now this is what you're transmitting to people all around the world, including Ho'oponopono. Yes. Ho'oponopono ke ala is the ancient form or ancient teachings of making right more right. Pono means right, or the rightness thereof. And pono, ho'o, pono, pono, making right more right. So the premise is that you come into the world already in the light, (laughs) already in the rightness, you know? And so as long as you have this vibrational energy and you have ancestors, as as I have, kupunas, um, the elders, that help you to embrace the teachings of Ho'oponopono Keala, which really means making right more right the path, then you're able to place those teachings in an expression at an everyday level. So that is to say that everything that is here right now on this earth, there's nothing wrong. It's it's all as it's supposed to be then to start with. Bingo. Mm. Exactly so. Yes. And the expression for that would be ikaponomea. Ikaponomea means right place, right time, right being. That all things are in its divinity. Everything. As a matter of fact, my grandfather used to say that This Honua, this earth, this planet, was so designed for love, for the excellence, for the divineness, and that the only time that we would change that reality, if you will, is when we think to change it. So his words were, no think. Stay with the aloha. Stay with that vibration of love. Carry it forward. And you do it moment by moment. That's how you stay in the spirituality. That's how you stay in the oneness. That's how you stay 
Pono and the excellence. Mm. Mm. So how then, when something comes up, some things do come up, though, in our life that would you say might need healing or forgiving? You know, it's interesting. Um, when people think in terms of healing, then they seek to be healed. <laughs> rather than recognize that at the moment of thought, at the moment of thought, they can choose to be healed or not. Mm. (laughs) I mean, it already gives you that feeling that you're in heaven, Mm -hmm. that you're in heaven. And there's not too much that you need to do except to enjoy it. And... My grandfather used to say, you know, it's transportable. Mm -hmm. The aloha. You can take it from here. You have the memory of it. So therefore, you've locked into the vibrational energy of it. So therefore, you can take it everywhere else. Mm -hmm. Everywhere else. You know, it's like creating your world within the world. I mean, chaos can go on all around you, you know. And if you choose to engage in that, so be it. Yeah, and it's and it's and I hear that quite a lot because it's you know people see me traveling and meeting all the amazing teachers yeah. and being here in Hawaii, and they might be in a city and uh, have a sense of struggling. Yeah. But then we create that struggle. We create that reality. Hawaii energy can be brought to ourselves if we want to. We're sitting here today in the beautiful kingdom of heaven. It's literally called here the kingdom of heaven. But we can create that anywhere we are. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it does help to, say, land here in Hawaii. (laughs) It does help to at least spend, you know, a day or two or, you know, if you're fortunate enough and if you have chosen Uh to stay a little bit longer to, you know, just get into the reality of this heaven. So that, you know, according to some of my students, they say, you know, Auntie, we come here from Australia, Japan, Europe, wherever, and we come here to lock into the mana. Mana? The mana. Can you explain us the mana? Yeah. Mana is one's heart and mind feeling running in the same track. That's That's what I call mana. Mana is that powerful energy of both heart and mind running in the same track. That's so it's the best possible scenario, really. Ah. Ah. <laughs> it's absolutely wonderful. And like I said, it also helps, you know, to come here and to feel the mana, you know, be a part of it, too, and then take it back with you. I mean, choose it. Mm. Choose your reality. Yes. So tell us about the, is there a, a technique, some tools to practice Oponopono? Because we hear, I forgive you, sorry, I love you. Is well, it, or is this not, yeah, no. there's different, it's this different. is not how you teach it. No. Okay. No. Ho'oponopono Keala, the difference is, and you know, when people go onto my website, of course, www.alohaspiritanti, they really get the history about the two different, and they are different, the two different teachings. Ho'oponopono Keala, that which comes through the lineage of my ohana, my father, my grandfather, my family, um, is the Hawaiian teachings of spirituality that was here in place, say, uh, grandfather used to say about 242 A.D., So we're talking quite a ways back. And especially a lot of that teachings was in place until about 1299 A.D. Okay, and then the influences of, say, the Tahitian ways and some then the European and missionaries and all of that changed the, you know, changed the landscape here in Hawaii. It didn't take away, per se, the Aloha spirit. It's still here, still here, <laughs> heaven on earth. <laughs> um, but it, it, it did um, change the dynamics a little. And then, of course, having um, the other Ho'opono, 
uh, Ho'oponopono, which is one word, okay? And that, when that came out, um, I will say that that came through my Auntie Simeona, who is my auntie on my mother's side. I've never met her, but she was brave enough, or I should say courageous enough, back in the day, back in the 40s, Mm. to bring this teachings out. However, it got changed a bit when um, what I refer to as letterheads, PhDs, etc., etc., nothing against them, okay, but that they added more of a Western model to it. So give us the real, the real essence of it. The real essence is it's not about forgiveness, truly. It's about acceptance. It's about accepting your spirit greatness. It's about accepting that you are Uhane, Uhane Nui. And as a spirit greatness, you are already blessed and in the light. And so your kiakahi, or your job on the planet, if you will, is to express that light and love. That's what the Aloha Spirit is all about, you know. The healing part, the I'm sorry bit and all of that, again, I say that's more of a Western type model. It wasn't within our Hawaiian purity of the spirituality because the Hawaiian purity of the spirituality comes through love. So if you've already got the love, why do you need the forgiveness? I mean, it's that simple. Yeah. Yeah. Truly. Because that vibrational energy will carry itself and others in the stream of consciousness that we are all meant to be a part of. Yeah. It's not about anything less. It's not about anything less than love. It's all about love. Love. 